Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4. Yes, I said the PlayStation 4. Um, I'm just going to be saying some things you may or may not know about it. <clears throat> First, it's going to be about the media option that's in the in the main menu. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that, my throat. But um, you're going to be able to see your friend's recent um, activities, like... If they're broadcasting a live stream, um, their trophies, if they got earned a trophy, that will be popping up on this big blob of the media menu <clears throat> and video clips. And you can comment on their video clips or uh, screenshots that they've taken. And you can go from that back to your game that you've been playing. Like you just press the button and seamlessly go right back to your game. So yeah, that's number one. Um... <clears throat> Next one is the one-time install. Say if you have, you go buy um, Killzone Jalapar or whatever. You can, um, once you put it in the disc in your PlayStation 4, it will, um, I'm not sure if it will ask you, do you want to install this to the, hydro, the hard drive or will you just have to do it? Will it be mandatory? I'm not really sure. Um, but that will pop up. You will have to install it to your hard drive and depending on how big the game is I guess you you have to it'll be able to back do it in the background or if the game is too big you might have to wait through a loading screen um, so yeah and the hard drive is only 500 gigabytes so it's going to fill up really fast especially with if you're a guy like me and plays a lot of double A games so yeah that's going to fill up really fast and the second part is real names I mean, not second part, third part, <laughs> is real names. Um, when you add your friend, on, if you have any friends on, on your PlayStation 4, you can send them a name request. So it will, um, they will have to accept it, and it will show you real, their real name. It will pop up next to a profile pic of their Facebook if they have their Facebook link to the account, you would be able to see their Facebook pic and their real name right there. Uh, I guess next to their gamer tag. Um, that's if uh, they accept your name request. So you can send that to your friends. And if you don't want anyone to know that, you could go through your privacy settings and just take that out. So no one can send you uh, name requests or you don't want anyone knowing your real name or whatever I don't understand the point in the real names but I guess if you have a close friend and you want his real name there so you can know that's him and not his gamer tag then that's, that's just you <laughs> but um let's see what else I got here uh, yeah I was reading this article online so if you want, I'm gonna put it in the comment section below so if you want to read it you can um, go there and read it so you'll be, um, you don't have to put your personal information on there, as I said before. And you don't want the system to get hacked and learn all your personalization, so, <laughs> yeah. The next um, thing is the controller. I haven't had hands-on um, with the controller yet, but hopefully I will. But um, I've been looking up a lot of articles about it and seeing pictures, and everyone's pretty much saying the same thing as a great a really great improvement over the DualShock 3 and the the buttons on the 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 clickies you see the right here in the pick <laughs> the um, the thumb things they have like the circle in the middle so it feels more comfortable towards you and um, it, it's completely redesigned the thumb sticks are completely redesigned as a built-in speaker um, it has the clicky touchpad on there. You can actually interact with that, and you already know the light bar, the blue light bar that goes across. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with the controller. And the controller, the where you see the blue thing across it, when you have it on the low power mode, like if you're cutting it off, it will flash um, white. And if you just play the game, it will stay white. It will just um, glow white. And um, 
Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. So the trophy system will work like the normal trophy system that we already have. And and your friends will be able to you will be able to see what your friends have and how many people have that trophy. Say if you have one trophy, you could see how many people how many gamers, percentage of the gamers have that trophy. And depending on how rare it is, like it goes from common rarity to all the way up to ultra rarity. And the more people that have that trophy, the more, um, the less rare it is. So, yeah, that's basically self-explanatory. Um, and the parental control, this is part four or five, I don't remember what part I'm on. <laughs> but the parental control um, is the basic stuff. Um, they, they could block uh, games like uh, mature rated games and apps and uh, movies and they could restrict certain content on the PlayStation 4 that's for the parents to do so yeah that's basically what that is and this one is really interesting the hopefully I'm explaining this good enough sorry guys <laughs> only I'm doing this late at night so yeah um the quest the not quest excuse me the guest accounts on your PS4 so your friends can come over and they can use your PlayStation 4 they don't have to bring their own they can use their PlayStation 4 and sign in on their accounts and they can download games that they owned onto your PlayStation 4 so if you have a friend you want to come over and he could just put his account and just download the games and y'all could play his games but once he leaves and signs off of that account all that, all the games that was downloaded just automatically deletes. So two people can't have the same game. Well, you can have the same game if you already own it, but if you don't own it and your friend does, you can't have that. So that's basically what that was saying. But that's pretty cool that your friends can come over and put in the account and just download their games that they already own. And the next part is share. You can, um, there has a share button on PlayStation uh, 4 controller, as we already know. And you can do live streams to Twitch of your gameplays, and um, you, a stream, you stream, you stream, sorry, <laughs> Twitch and you stream. Um, yeah, so you can send uh, your stuff to there when you live stream by pressing the share button. And let's see what else do we have here. And you, if you have the PlayStation Eye, you can um, record your face and your commentary at the same time within that video. So, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, so the camera and that you could show your face and the commentary and the video alongside the video when you're live streaming. And the next part is sharing your moments. So you can share things for 15 minutes. Like your, your PlayStation 4 will automatically um, record 15 minutes of your gameplay. The ending the ending 15 minutes of your gameplay. And the only bad part about this is that the game devs can choose what you can record and can't record in their games. I don't know much about this yet, but I was reading a little bit about it. And certain parts in the game... The recording will automatically shut off and you won't be able to record that part until you leave that area and it will come back your lot your screen will come back on or the, not the screen your 15 minutes of gameplay will come back on so that I'm not too fond of so yeah so say if you like plan a, a showing guys showing someone a certain part that you want to get past that they can't get past and it just automatically cuts off. <laughs> that will be not. That wouldn't be really good. So the next part is the light bar on the PlayStation 4. The light bar is the blue thing in the back of the PlayStation 4. As I said before, in the standby mode, it flashes. Um, when you're in the standby mode, it's yellow. When you're in standby mode, and when you cut your PS4 off, it flashes white. And 
um, when you play in the game, it just stays constantly white. So it glows white. So yeah. Uh, what other hair? What else do I have here? Yeah, so I'll be showing you more. Got more stuff in the next video. I had to make this two parts. So I had to cut it down to about 15 minutes. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next part. And hopefully I explained that well. See ya. My line out. Peace.